In this video, I want to talk about instance names. So I'm back in my stuff.fla. I've got one of those cogs that we had designed before. I placed it on the stage. In the properties panel for this cog, you can see that it is a movie clip. It is an instance of cog. I can give it a name, any name that I want. So I'll call this guy Simon. Simon is this individual cog's name. If I go to my document class, I have created two other cogs. C and C1 are the variables that hold them. And Simon was also added to the stage. So if we run this code right now, you can see that there are three of them running. There are again, there they are again in random positions every time, but there are three. One that I put on the stage, two that I created in my code. I don't know which one's which at this point, but there are three of them there. In my code, if I want to control Simon, that one, we can say that Simon dot alpha equals 0 0.5. Just going to make him easy to pick out. I use the instance name Simon. Same spelling, same capitalization as here. And there we go. This is Simon. I can tell because it's got the 50% alpha. Now, these other two, I have a choice here in my code. I can use the variable C. We added them to the stage using the variable C and C1 or we can actually give them an instance name. We can come down here and say c.name equals John and c.c1.name equals Jen. Okay, so we have all these lowercase names here. So, I have John, Jen, and Simon. Three different instance names for three different objects. The name property points to the instance name or creates the instance name for that variable. We have a method called getChildByName. So I can come up with a new variable here, uh, nc for new cog equals this dot get child there's the code complete child by name that's the one that I want and inside here I'm gonna get the one called John now John is C var C cog equals new cog up here at the very top that is the one called John because I gave it the instance name here this line of code says go onto the stage find the thing with the name John, put it into the variable nc, new cog. And then we can say nc dot alpha equals 16. Yeah, we'll 0.16, 16%. So we'll run that. Oh, I've got an error here. So we'll take a look at the error here. Implicit coercion of a value with static type flash display display object to a type of unrelated type cog. So basically what this is saying is this method right here, get child by name, is giving us back a display object. The class is display object, but we're trying to put a display object into cog. In order to put something into a variable that's expecting a cog, we have to convert this or cast it into a cog. So, all I need to do is that, wrap it inside the cog function, try again, there we go. So, using the instance name, 50% alpha, that's Simon, 16% alpha, that's John, and there's Jen, running along at full alpha.